large companies. With us now, two congressmen, Georgia Republican Phil Gingrey and Democrat Joe Sestak from Pennsylvania. Both gentlemen sit on committees that might have a pretty big say on all of this. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us. Congressman Gingrey, granted, we Thank don't you. know all the full details because it's still being debated in the White House, but what's your reaction to the government overseeing or regulating executive pay, even at companies that have not received government help? Well, I know the president is a huge basketball fan, but let me just say that the March Madness needs to end in Washington. Uh, and this, this is crazy, this idea of the government uh, intruding into a private company uh, and, and literally having the, the, the feds take over a company uh, without uh, uh, any justification. I, I think it sounds like a George Orwell novel, 1984. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, transparency. Sure. Congressman yes. Sestak, though, let me, before we get to transparency on something else, Congressman Sestak, you know, I mean, it is one thing uh, if the government's financially helping to save a bank or a Wall Street firm or a company like AIG, sure, maybe there's a right to restrict wages and bonuses, but goodness gracious, other companies out there, isn't that overreaching? I have to agree that what we don't want to have happen now is have political response actually make this crisis and the future investment in our nation worse. For example, this was a good message we sent out there this past week, particularly at AIG, where its structure in 2007 for performance bonuses was one that had excluded any mark-to-market -market unrealized losses and capped at only $65 million how much could be Concluded a performance bonus consideration right. of real losses when they lost 10 billion. Now we want, as we go forward, not to have the government saying, "Here's how much compensation can be," but we do have to get to that right. point. You said we would good. What's the transparency of the structure so we have the right incentives out good. there, not incentives that take us down a risky road? Right. That's the important issue. Congressman Gingrey, I'm glad you brought it up. The T word, transparency. But your colleague just mentioned, what about hedge funds? They're the antithesis of transparency. Many of them are so secretive, they you know, invite security abuse, and whose problems could pose risks to the entire financial system in America should there be greater regulation, oversight, and indeed transparency of hedge funds. Right. I, I see nothing wrong with that. In fact, I think that's probably a good idea. Uh, also, the, this idea of, of these uh, of mortgage backed securities and credit default swaps and all these things that almost are traded in the dark of night, uh, they need to be regulated by the SEC as well. But in regard to uh, the, the Fed's uh, uh, going in and, and closing down, uh, seizing companies that have received no taxpayer bailout money, I think is absolutely absurd. It's the scariest thing that I've ever heard of. Now, I mean, there are problems, and certainly uh, that there ought to be more transparency, that I said earlier. Uh, the, the shareholders of those companies need to know about executive compensation. They need to have an opportunity ahead of time before an annual stockholders meeting right. to express their uh, approval or disapproval. Approval. What you've got, and, and many of these board of directors of these Fortune 500 companies, these outside directors are basically scratching each other's backs for this executive they compensation. Are. And maybe we ought to we ought to restrict that and say nobody can cross sit as an outside board member on these Fortune they, 500 companies. They are indeed. Boards. You took the words I think right out of uh, many mouths in America. These guys are just scratching. I'll give you, you know, millions in compensation. You give me millions in compensation. Congressman Sestak, um, exactly. speaking of uh, exactly. transparency, Congressman Sestak, one of the reasons why AIG contributed to the financial meltdown is because they dealt in these, you know, exotic and risky derivative instruments called credit default swaps. Now, the president yes. is proposing that these be traded in the future on exchanges so that they, too, are more transparent. Good idea? Yeah, absolutely. Look, in 1998... You had the chairwoman of the Future Commodities Trading Commission absolutely state that we needed to do two things. Have clear transparency is in these transactions like we do in other institutions. And number two, that we needed to have them keep in reserve a certain level of, of money so if they start to default, they have the money AIG would have when Lehman started going down the tubes. Now, a law was passed at the beginning of this decade that forbid forbade any type of oversight 
on it. We have to remove that. Let me talk about hedge funds for a moment. When we're talking about transparency of hedge funds as well as these credit swaps, defaults, what we also have to recognize is hedge funds managers, their compensation right now, as you know, is taxed, even though their money might yeah. not be, their skin might not be in the game, at the, at, at the capital gains rag yeah, tax 15%. of 15%, but their secretary, who is, might be taxed right. at 25%. But but so that's, so what we're saying is government in this amount, yes, and so there are ways that government should yeah. intervene for making the game fairer right. and transparent. I, but I got let's another not idea. wreck it by Companies rusted Companies that judgment. are too big to fail are too big, and they ought to be broken up like Standard Oil was at the turn of the last century. Uh, Phil Gingry, Joe Sestak, great to see you both. Thank you very much. Great to be back, Greg. Thanks. Good to be with you. Thanks a lot.